So this is Grady, and he likes to he likes to put his mouth on you and growl and stuff. So I'm not too sure about this guy. <laughs> they say he's a sweetie, so hopefully he's a sweetie. But I'm gonna try picking him up. And a lot of times, this is a sensitive issue for a lot of dogs, just because you're picking them up. You know, like they have to trust you. So all right, good. That wasn't too bad. There we go, Grady. Good job, buddy. Now, Grady looks really weird. <laughs> so, and he smells so, so bad. You're okay, buddy. Now I'm just gonna massage him on a little bit so he trusts the touch. And try to just put all negative thoughts and emotions out. <laughs> you know, okay, here's a story. Let me, let me just uh, tell a story, actually, for this YouTube video. <laughs> Open up a little bit. Okay, uh, my very first dog bite that was really bad was from a dog named Muffin um, when, I was, when I first got a job as a bather. Now Muffin uh, looked kind of like this dog except she looked crazy. Uh, she had wall eyes, so one eye would be staring at you real crazy like and the other eye is looking the other way for an escape route or something. Like after they bite you, they're going to run around so they'll get at both at the same time. <laughs> So really crazy, spooks you out. I thought she was psychotic. And so anyways, I'm drying her head with a towel like this and bam, she bites so hard, threw the towel, broke my fingernail. Threw the towel, blood, I mean, it, it really hurt. Um, and so, uh, like, I just, I, I got scared. And no matter how much you know and read about dogs, no matter how much you, no matter how much you, know, you try to reason with yourself and work through it logically, when fear hits, now I understand why, how some people feel when they see a dog that scares them. I don't make fun of them anymore. I used to. I used to point and laugh and make fun of them. <laughs> <laughs> but now I don't because I understand how it feels because your, your hands get shaky, your palms get sweaty, um, your body temperature goes hot, your heart rates, your knees go weak. I mean, it's just you physically react to this, this uh, what you're, you're feeling in your mind, this fear just takes over and you keep picturing the bite and you, the fear is uh, anticipation of, of pain so you keep anticipating the pain and so what I believe happens is the fear and, and anticipating the pain thinking of the pain and visualizing the pain makes it happen so what I'm trying to do is just get it out of my mind this is not muffin this is another dog that looks weird <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do is a terrier clip because he has a terrier mix, he has a lot of terrier features, I guess. So, kind of maybe like a Glen de Mall or something like that, or, or I don't know if that's the right name for it, but there's a terrier called that. It looks kind of funky like this, or uh, what else? The, what is it called? Dandy, the Dandy Dinmont terrier or something like that. But I mean, it doesn't look like this, but you know, those are like kind of weird looking terriers. So, what we'll do is just try to. First, I'm gonna go through with the slicker. And every time Muffin would come in, she would always growl at me and just look at me in his crazy eyes. And I'd always try to just calm me, you know, breathe it out and do what Caesar says and, you know, sit next to her cage, you know, because where I work, they used to cage the dog. I mean, most everywhere are cages the dogs because they have too many, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, I would, I would sit in front of her cage and just kind of breathe and try to, get, try to get her to trust me. But no, she would just growl. And here's the thing. Every single time um, I Muffin would schedule, or you know, or she would be on the schedule for a groom, they would tell me like a, like the day before, oh Muffin's coming in, like a big joke, and because they knew that I, I would volunteer to do her every time, I, I always try to face my fear. You know, I see it as an opportunity to grow, but also pee my pants every time. It's an opportunity to pee my pants, but. Um, every time you know, like in the morning driving to work, I would just start shaking, you know. But yeah, just every, every single time she would be on the schedule, I would always ask to do her. And I was just a bather at that time, but as I started to get better, and I was doing more and more, and I started doing little trim ups and light, light you know, like mini grooms where you just shape up the face and the feet, <clears throat> I would ask to do her after I was done with all the other dogs, washing and drying them and everything. And I would ask if I could finish Muffin. And, you know, just <laughs> work through it, you know. Caesar Malone, baby, please Caesar Malone, baby, you know, just keep doing it, but yeah, I mean, finally I got to groom her and I made her look very nice, I did a complete groom on her, 
and it was awesome. I didn't get bit. She growled a couple times, and I was I was scared a couple times, but you know, just worked through it. And you know, I, I just think that whenever something does scare you, rather than run away from it, you should you should always try to confront it, even if it makes you pee your pants. <laughs> no, it's okay. I never pee my pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a sweetie. Very cooperative. Good boy. Good boy. Maybe we should adopt him. <laughs> mm. He's up for adoption, guys. Anybody wanna? I mean, he is cute though. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the camera. Mm. What a cutie. He's got his own little characteristics here. I think the flaws are what makes us beautiful. Just talking about muffin got my ears all red. <laughs> just thinking about muffin just got my ears all red and got me all heated up again. <laughs> oh man. Muffin. I remember telling your mom about it. <laughs> my mom laughing. Everybody thinks it's so funny. You don't know how terrified I am. <laughs> Nobody cares. Everybody just wants to see me get bit. <laughs> And when you are brushing with the slicker brush, you don't, you don't going straight down against the skin. What you're doing is you're kind of pulling away from the skin. You're kind of grabbing the coat and the tangles and you're kind of pulling it away from the skin. So you're not scraping the skin. I do recommend the harder bristle brushes. Um, the brushes that we sell and use here <clears throat> are a little thicker, the, the bristles, and they're a little harder. And I like that better. A lot of people think that's, that's not good. The softer ones are better. Softer ones are thinner, they give, they give a lot more, and I've been noticing, you know, just my own experience, uh, the, the, the bristles, the needles break off a lot easier, and sometimes in the coat. And so while you're brushing the dog, you know, as I'm going through, sometimes I'll get like poked by one of the little bristles that broke off in the coat, and that could actually poke their skin too. <clears throat> and also, the thinner ones tend to scrape. Sometimes as I'm force drying, I'll see little scrape marks that I never intended to do but because the bristles are thinner, they scrape a lot easier. So I like the thicker, harder bristles a lot better. And just, you know, away from the skin, away from the skin. Work out the tingles away from the skin. There we go, good. to know that I'm in it with them, you know. Um, I feel you. I feel you, bro. I feel you. <laughs> How so? Huh? How so? Because I'm, I'm, I, feel, I want them to know I'm down here in it. I'm with you, you know. My face is right here with you. Like, I'm focusing on what I'm doing. I'm not going to hurt you. You know, I want them to trust me. And I want that, you know, if you want any trust from a dog, you need to give them your trust. All that came from him? Yeah. And I'm getting a lot more. See, even though I'm coning straight through the coat, what's coming out very easily is the dead undercoat. Can you see that? Is mm -hmm. that is that dead undercoat. That's coming out of the coat because <clears throat> even though it's going straight through very easily, it's able to pull it out because it's actually dead, but it's still inside the pore, being shedded out, being pushed out by the new hairs which are coming, you know, growing to replace it. <clears throat> so that's all dead old undercoat hair. And so what we're doing is we're clearing these pores out. So it's kind of like exfoliating the skin, kind of, you know, before we are actually going to use our shampoo. And our shampoo is all natural. You know, just made with botanicals and natural ingredients, so you know it's gonna it's gonna be able to work and penetrate into the skin a lot better now that we've cleared out the pores. Look at that foxtail. That's awesome. I'm gonna keep that. <clears throat> I'm not gonna shave this down. I'm just gonna maybe trim it up a little bit, shape it. Mm -hmm. But that's a beautiful like foxtail, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, buddy. Beautiful. Hmm. 
He's a sweetie. Yeah, he is a sweetie. Hi guys, we're back with Grady. Um, basically what we did was shave down the back here. I first carded it out real good and you know just did as much as I can by hand and then went ahead with the clippers and just kind of took off all of that length. Then blended it into the feathers and the skirt here, the legs, you know, the tail. And so what we're going to do now is the head, finish up scissoring the, you know, just kind of shape everything up. But yeah, Cindy saw it too, and I jumped back. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I jumped back and turned around and like grabbed and put his teeth on me. I was like, whoa. When <laughs> he first came in, it's kind of a gross introduction. Okay. Perfect. Eyes, I thought the eyes are short enough. He's so calm. <coughs> oh, yeah. He's so tired. Yeah. Well, I mean, you saw all that humping he did. <laughs> Man can only hump so much before he passes out. You're a trooper, buddy. You're a soldier. No limit, so actually, I guess that was his limit. <laughs> but you're a soldier, buddy. You humped all day long. Awesome. 